It's done. Well, that ain't right. Let's try that again. Attempt number two is done. Okay, let's see if we can get this one in there. So we got this lip now, and it's going over the gap here. So let's see if we can get this. There we go. Perfect. So here's what the problem has been. Well, not problem. Here's what people have asked for. First problem is if you have high speed poo coming out the back, we raise this up a little bit, give it a bigger backstop to help stop that high speed poo from missing the chute. The second problem has been low speed poo. Low speed poo wants to come down and kind of hang on this edge here. And then the previous design, it was just flush. So it would come down the chute, then maybe catch right here. So I added a lip on here to go over that gap so it'll slide into the tray better. But you, you kind of got to play with it a little bit to get it, get it in here. It doesn't just slide right in. You got to kind of, you know. But it should make the poo slide in easier. And we all want better sliding poo. The hopper change doesn't affect the drawer going in and out at all. It still clears and does what it's supposed to do. It's just to help that slow and fast moving poo get where it needs to go. So I updated the profiles on makerworld.com for the PHS poo handling system for the X1 and P1. And I've also just added a hopper profile. So if you just want to print the hopper itself, but it's also the main one has been updated. 